I've got a Johnston trailer which can be used for logs and animal transport and then I've got a big semi flatbed for bales okay we want pallets and fillable pallet carrot potato wheat barley oats canola oilseed radish 2100 litres the thing you really don't use much of this I'm gonna buy two but I think we'll use less than one a lot less than one I think we're gonna have a whole load next year and um, get a herbicide tank as well Okay. And, uh, one of my little tricks, either I have a, uh, some form of front loader at the store, or keep a, a weight here. This tractor really doesn't suffer from uh, balancing issues. Oh, uh, let's go forwards. Unfortunately, I put the trailer a little bit too far back there. Too low. Not often I do that. Seriously? Having a bit of a problem with that. Or, oh, catching on the middle of the bottom of pallet. There we go. Now, if I was pushed for space. Oops, there is enough room for um, these wooden pallets side by side on that trailer. But since we're only taking three things back to the farm, I'm not too bothered about packing it all on there. Do not misbehave. Okay, I'll try and lift that up and push it further back. I think I can turn the collision on these. Four, uh, can I? I can't remember. Let's push that back a bit. Now these are 
carriage free fork so yeah they have a pivot on them if they do have too much of a problem so you can tip the fork down so that it would technically disappear into the ground I do not have a mini map mod put that on Two on there, one there, one there, one there, one there. There we go. Nice. And 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 so yeah, I think the next major equipment purchase might be a bigger harvester. Of course, we just wiped out all our money messing around with the manure system and the, the stuff. But I'll, see, I'll see if I can find an attacher for the front of the uh, tractor. As I said, I'll, I'll, I'll set up a, a separate save game and uh, mess around and see what I can make work. I know there is a pump, but I thought that um, the pump was used on um, things like the uh, cattle, um, slurry pit, things like that. Uh, maybe not. Okay, I guess this will take this through the front door. So uh, that's where the planter is, I think. But yeah, this is a very handy tra a trailer for the for a, yeah a small shopping trip. Trip and as I said, you can double stack and double width on it, so you can get about six pallets on the flats, so 12 total. But really, I don't think we've ever needed that many. Okay, that field on our right, we are going to be purchasing this year because baby sheep are coming or will be. could get the tally handler and uh, load the seed. That might work. So. Usually easier if you actually stand facing rather than an angle. Okay, what we got in the front here? We have bale spikes. So now that I have handler and a uh, and a tractor. I need to segregate my uh, attachments. So telehandler attachments go in there. Tractor attachments. Oops. Oops. Try going. Gauging drive. Tractor attachments I put on the left there. 
Okay, let's get this. As best I can. How's that looking? Bad. I see what I missed. There we go. Heavy handler, not a piece of equipment I use much on Farm Sim 17. In fact, something I've not used at all in Farm Sim 19 until a couple of weeks ago. And I figured it's probably a good thing. Oh, there we go. Reloading. Okay, that works. So in reality, we would be jumping over there, pulling the bags off and throwing them in the uh, back of the hopper. Now the nice thing about the realistic cedar mod is it unloads into these pallets. And if you have partial pallets, you can combine them just by lifting one above the other. Okay, I think we're good for the telehandler at the moment. I'm going to put it on the other side of there. into the challenger there we go so we got 2100 liters of oil seed radish and we're going to seed our other field hi dog i didn't check our uh, crop state or our sheep i think our sheep are okay i filled up everything for them yesterday Evening. It's only 9 30 in the morning. I'm really not sure we've got much in the way of jobs to do on our farm today. Uh, so 2618 are harvested. Uh, 31 is someone else's, 27 is ours. That's probably going to come up next. That's sugar beet. Uh, sunflowers in one and two, and then potatoes in eight. Um, the clover, I don't expect that to be ready till early fall, which is only a couple of days away. So I think once we've got this field, yes, we're good. We are good with oil seed radish. Yes, you can plant it any time, you can harvest it any time. So, we'll get some in the ground and get going. Don't think I need... I believe this is a direct drill, so I don't have to mess with that. So yeah, ploughing, I will have to plough my sugar beet fields, my potato fields, and if I had corn fields, I would have to plough those, but we don't have corn, we just have sugar beets and potatoes. Okay. Do I want to turn on the thing? I did see someone was speculating that we may have GPS in Farm Sim 22. 
because the throwaway comment made by giants in one of their dev blogs not because they said oh we're going to have gps just because they said something and it sort of that kind of implies gps might be a thing okay we know that we turn that on and off we go So yeah, now the only thing I can plant from here at the moment is oil seed radish. If I want to plant something different, I would have to unload the seeder and reload it with the appropriate seed. Of course, we're not going to fertilize this. I think you did ask if you can first, if you can put slurry on a planted crop. Technically, I think you can, but um, slurry and manure are un, what I call unmetered. They um, they just are what they are. So it's a flat increase in uh, nitrogen when you add them. So it's not really something that um, you know you you get a, a much better um, fertilization coverage if you use solid or liquid fertilizer on a planted crop. If you do not plant a crop and you put solid fertilizer in, you're going to waste a ton of it, or do manual see uh, manual fertilizing. So if you've got a fertilizer, you can just say switch to manual mode and add 40 kilograms per hectare or whatever the measure measurement is. And uh, it won't use up the entire reservoir of fertilizer that you bought. Okay. be wrong about the amount of oilseed radish I need. We'll see. I mean, I'm not planting anything else for a while. And when we get the sunflowers in, we'll be pretty much putting something in the ground. this field's a little bit close to the hedge. Just now noticed that. Okay, and again I'm missing bits, but I think I'm more concerned about making sure it all gets cultivated. before we plant as opposed to I get every single square inch of field with the oilseed radish because the oilseed radish is it's reducing the cost of my artificial fertilizer so but I may switch to uh, is it um, GPS once we're uh, done with the headland I think one should probably be enough this is an improvement on our old cedar we did use the Lemkin 12 meter cedar before but that's not a direct drill so I would have to have cultivated this before planting it now I technically I would have had to cultivate it anyway 
because we're planning to plant sunflowers and I don't have a direct drill planter. Surprise! I would technically say that's not a thing. Oops. But um, there is a big Amazon uh, cedar or plant, you know, combo everything. It, it will plant seeds and uh, it will plant and uh, the other thing um, and seed. So all the crops. And it's a direct drill. Okay, what am I doing here? I am doing C control S and set A. Now the cedar. Uh, let's bring up the mini map so I can see what angle we're headed. Ninety-eight. Okay, that's 90. Let's go with that. And control S. Set B. Enable. Oh, I didn't do auto width. Auto width. And if we're lucky, that should work. Okay, so that's guidance steering set up. I forget what I was talking about. Oh, animals. Uh, yeah, animals fine. Weather fine. So this is just doing it efficiently because I'm using a direct drill. Um, if I drive, if I overlap the coverage, then I will rip up what's already in the ground and replant it so it will use more seed. So as soon as we get to the end here, let's slow down. And stop. Lift up the cedar. I believe this is perfectly capable of doing a full 180. Uh, right in line. Unfortunately, the cedars, I probably should have done a bigger headland. But I'm just going to get this as straight as we can. changed out my driving mod that uh, allows me to select drive and reverse. Uh, the previous one was extended driving I believe and it didn't play with the uh, GPS mod. This one however does, which is good. Yeah. cheese stick. Okay, I think I'm going to pull another headland here, just because I need some more space to turn around. Lift. Okay.
don't know, maybe I should do three, but we'll try with two, and then we'll see if we need more. We could turn off GPS so we get rid of the dots for a minute. The nice thing about GPS is it does remember what you just set up. <coughs> So I could plant this field and then go off to another field and just pull up GPS and it'll have the same GPS track, width and everything set. But, uh, that's good enough. As I said, oilseed radish is a very, uh, very efficient crop to plant. Uses the least amount of seed of everything per hectare, so consequently a lot cheaper per acre or per hectare than uh, fertilizer is. But it, as I said, it's a flat application, so um, we're only going to get the benefit we're going to get. I think probably about 60 kilos per hectare of nitrogen. So less, less controllable than uh, the artificial fertilizer. It'll be interesting to see what we get as precision farming for Farm Sim 22. I'm kind of assuming it's going to be embedded at release. Since they've done all the work so far, they've it implied that there will be further improvements to it so I'm guessing Farm Sim 22 will have further improvements but, uh, I guess we'll see how that goes but I'm assuming that all of the stuff we learn from Farm Sim 19 will be at least partially applicable to 22. So if you keep notes that how much nitrogen you need per crop type, I would guess that you're still going to need that kind of level of nitrogen in 22 although you know that said there were some subtle changes between 17 and 19 um, i believe in 17 you used for arable crops the least amount of seed planting soybeans potatoes have always been horrendous um, but for farm sim 19 the most efficient arable crop is canola so if you're a starting farmer with no money your best crop to plant is canola because it's going to be the cheapest crop to get in the ground because it uses the least amount of seed and it still makes it, it it's it's not as valuable as soybeans but it does produce more than soybeans and that, that's a thing with uh, crops in farm sim. They're basically um, the amount of work you have to do to harvest them um, will make you more money. So um, you, know, you make more planting potatoes, I'm going to go around a third time, uh, than you do, or you, 